people. Welcome back. Half fast 719. Got the forks on. Everything's all good. Um yeah, so I like to run my forks flush with the triple mount. Um and then uh the guy that bought my 2012 uh his wife has basically the same bike and uh he needed those fork tubes. Those fork tubes were blown bad, or the fork seals. And uh, I did those for him. Uh, not last night, the night before. It took me about maybe a half hour to do them both. It wasn't too bad. Anyway, and he was just here pressing in some bearings and some seals for his. Uh, he's got a little Odyssey 250. Um, Anyway, blues motor, so I helped him put press some bearings in and some seals in for the crank. Really haven't been doing much. I've been doing a lot of just little stuff like, you know, cleaning up the garage a little bit. And, uh, yeah, just been tinkering on the dirt bike. Uh, what I did do with the dirt bike, new brake pads, front and rear, washed it, cleaned it really good. I put on these uh, aluminium red chinglingies. And uh, yeah, so now what I got to do is I got a couple parts that came in. So, oh, by the way, AC on the truck on the fourth gen went out. So, I was talking to the wife last night. She had mentioned to me that. I should just take the bolts out of the one that's in there instead of waiting till December 31st for some bolts. And then when he was here, uh, the guy from work was here today, he said the same thing. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. And uh, go to the post office and guess what I got? I think they're the bolts. Let me, uh, let's see. Customs. Came from China. Let's see, let's see. I hope they're the bolts. They look like they are the bolts. So, there's one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I ordered one, two, three, four, five. So these are. 12.9 the strength M6 at 1.50 there's four oh 150 is the uh, 150 millimeters and uh, this one I believe is 140 millimeters because I want to say that these are 145 millimeters I'll look for that piece. Oh, here it is. I believe these are 145 millimeters. So, as you can see, we got about 5 millimeters short, which I'm okay with because they only had four of these bolts. <clears throat> they only had four of this size, and then they had uh, like four of these of this size. So, I said, so I'll try it. If it doesn't work, I'll just reuse one of those bolts. But let's just see. And they are a hex head socket bolt. Yeah, that should that should be plenty enough. Um, plus I have the washers. So I'll probably assemble this this weekend. It is Friday right now. So as you can see how much threads. We should have enough threads. And uh, I should be able to torque these a lot more than I can torque these. So, anyway, got that in. Finally. That's cool because I just checked the tracking this morning. And it said uh, tracking not available. And then I uh, got this right here. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Anyway, got my, got my 
my elbow on it. So these are Motion Pro fork bleeders. So instead of manually bleeding these with this little screw, you basically put those in there and then you ride it, you put some weight on it, and then you bleed it. So pretty excited about these two because I do not want to get a screwdriver out and bleed them all the time. Don't know why there's a staple through the middle of this. But anyway. And nothing in there. Alright, now let's get to the potatoes. Oh man, did I just show my address? Oh well, I don't care. So cut it open nice and easy. Hopefully nothing's all jacked up in here. My receipt. We got all factory Honda parts. So it's the seal, washer, spindle, o-ring, a bearing, and another seal. And hopefully it's not all jacked up. A gag skit. So I gotta do the water pump on this bike. Um yeah, so the bike's been taking up some money, some time. Um, not really time. Um, like I said in previous videos, my brother-in-law gave me this bike. Um, can't thank him enough for it because I love dirt bikes. And uh, it's really awesome of him to give me the bike. <clears throat> um... Or Ryan Fixer, no, he didn't neglect the bike or anything. Um, he did what he could. And the bike sat. Um, so, yeah. It's not like he didn't know what he was doing or anything like that. He knows what he's doing. Um, I really I really can't answer. Uh, anyway, I don't really know what to say. Other than... Uh, I, I want to say that the water pump had leaked when he got the bike. And it stopped leaking. So I think what happened is the seal in there somehow broke down. I'm going to take it apart. It will be the next video, so watch the next videos. I think the seal broke down and plugged the weep hole. That's what I'm thinking happened. Um, and we'll find out once I tear it apart. So change the tranny fluid. The one time the motor oil, the tranny oil, and put Rotella T6 in there, synthetic. And then uh, went for a ride, rode the bike, rides great, everything's fine. Um, and then drained it, changed it again, and then was like, well, I thought maybe to do the water pump. You'll have to wait till next video, but or you can Google it, how to change it, doesn't matter to me. I thought you could just take the water pump cover off, change, take the impeller off, change the seal, but um, more research, lack of my knowledge, you got to take the whole side case off of the dirt bike. So that whole, the kickstand or kickstarter has to come off, the brake lever has to come off, uh, the whole case, that's what that big gasket's for, the whole case has to come off. I have to drain the coolant. Um, yeah, it's, I want to say it's probably going to be about an hour job, um, mainly because I'll have to press these out, the seals out, bearings out, and everything, and uh, I don't think I need a new shaft, but I've read and heard that the bearing gets a groove and stuff inside of here, and the seal won't seal, so, and then that's just a little crush washer that goes in between something anyway so i'm gonna get started on that you guys can watch that video it's next video um also my brother-in-law gave my kid some tech 8 alpine star boots practically brand new thank you for giving him those because he's going to be getting a bike too he 
You just don't have time because he's working too much. And I think I'm going to be picking up a set of boots tomorrow morning that a guy bought for his kid. They're too big. And he tried to bring them back to the store. And the store said, oh, that's an older boot. We don't take it back. Uh, I think he bought them. He's, he lo listed it and he said he bought them in Ju or not June, uh, April or May. And he said the riding season is until October out here. So when he went to ride, he kind of gave them to his kid as a gift. So they were way beyond 60 days, 90 days to return them. So anyway, I'm going to go pick those up tomorrow for me because these are size 11s. I tried them on. They're too tight. Um, my kid wears 11s. So the ones I'm going to pick up are size 12. So hopefully he'll still have them tomorrow. It's just to meet. Um... But yeah, anyway, a lot going on. Been doing a lot of stuff. Working, coming home. I was going with the wife to help with some animals. Because uh, some of her friends were out of town. And uh, I wanted to go over there because it was late at night. Or not really late at night, but it would get dark by the time she got home. So I figure I'll go be the protector. By the way, guys, so stay tuned for this video of the water pump stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. So tomorrow I'm going down, pick up some boots, hopefully. Um, I have the rest of my riding gear still. Still. And uh, maybe go cruise the dirt bike. Um, I do have old, 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 old videos from like 10 years ago, maybe 8 years ago. First, when I first got a GoPro Hero 3 black edition um i was wearing that riding in the dunes and stuff but anyway all right guys i'm gonna get started on this bike thanks for watching subscribe and uh stay tuned for the bike video and hopefully uh my kid will get a bike and we can go ride so all right guys see you guys on the next video peace out